Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is well and that you've had a wonderful week and that you're enjoying your weekend. Welcome to our online Sunday School lesson. Just a reminder that this does take place every second Sunday, but the Sunday School is also open at the church and we would really, really love it if you could join us. We have really missed you at the Sunday School. So please, it would be great if you could come and join us at the church every Sunday for Sunday School. For today's lesson, I'm going to show you something that you might not believe until you actually see it. So I'm going to show you this is a 10 rand note. You see, there's nothing on it. And I'm going to fold it. You can see, fold it. Each end, there's a little bit of the note sticking out. There you go. I've got a paper clip. You see, it's not connected to anything. And I'm going to put it with the back part, with the back part and the middle part, connected like that. If you can see, it's the back part and the middle part, and this is, is open. Then I'm taking the other paper clip that's not connected to the green one, and I'm going to put it in the front, in the front and the middle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and pull it from each end very, very slowly. As you can see, I'm pulling slowly, slowly. Oh, and what happened there? Look, they connected. Does that look like a bit of magic? Now, if you hadn't actually seen me do that, would you have believed me? Maybe not. So let's have a look at today's lesson, and I'm going to be reading the lesson the, from the Bible reading. But each time I use the word believe, I want you to act very surprised, oh, and you make a surprised face. So I want you to do that. Every time I say believe. So let's try it. On the evening of the first Sunday after Jesus had been crucified, his disciples were together in a locked room. They were afraid of those who had crucified Jesus. Suddenly, Jesus appeared there in the locked room with the disciples. It was hard to believe. <gasps> but they saw him and Jesus showed them his wounds in his hands and his side, so they knew it was him. One of the disciples, Thomas, was not with the others when Jesus appeared to them. When they told Thomas, he didn't believe them. He had seen Jesus crucified and buried. How could he be alive? Thomas said. Unless I see the wound in his side, and put my fingers in the holes where the nails were in his hands, I will not believe it. A week later, the disciples were in the locked room again, and this time Thomas was with them. Again Jesus came and stood among the disciples. Jesus said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas fell on his knees and answered Jesus, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet they have believed. You and I have never seen Jesus with our own eyes, have we? But we do know that he is with us. So we're not going to make any more faces and surprised looks because we know that we believe in him. We see it when we read the Bible, which is all about Jesus. We believe in Jesus because of the wonderful blessings he has given us. We believe in him because of the nature around us. 
with our wonderful family and friends, and we know Jesus works through them. We know he works through the prayer. And yes, I know there are times we might ask for things and think, but Jesus is not answering my prayer. And sometimes it just takes a little bit longer, but he does answer our prayers, and we need to remember that. So we believe, even though we haven't seen him, we know that he is with us. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that you are always with us. Thank you that we can believe in you, even though we do not see you. Thank you for the many blessings. Thank you for our Bibles. Thank you for answering our prayers, knowing that we believe in you. We know that our prayers are answered. Thank you very much. Amen. So please remember this for the rest of the week, that there are many ways that Jesus works in our lives. And that we might not see him, but the way he works in our lives helps us to believe that he is with us. I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, enjoy it. I know it's getting a bit cooler in the mornings, but it's wonderful to see the change of seasons and enjoy the change of seasons. Bye-bye.